Okay. So first thing I want to think about, is my x component going to be positive or negative? Positive. This number is less than 1, so it's going to be it's going to be negative. Where we're going from scientific notation, we have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because I need to get that 6 to the left of the decimal point. And I get 6 times 10 to the negative 6. Let's do number two. Hmm? Number eight. Let's do number two first. We want to get the decimal point here in between the five and the four. Remember, we want a decimal just to the right of one number or one number to the left of it. The original decimal point was here. How many places are we moving? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And is my exponent going to be positive or negative? Positive. Positive. I'm positive. You're positive, it's positive? Okay, and number eight was requested, so let's move down to that. I'm starting off in scientific notation, which is what I was going to do on the back. Oh, this is not in scientific notation. It looks like it is. I just glanced at it. Is there a decimal in between that 7 and the 1? But there needs to be. So we need to move this one more time. It's like somebody started this but didn't finish it. So then this becomes 7.1 times 10 to the what? Mm -hmm. Make sense? Okay. Let's do a couple on the back. These numbers are in scientific notation and we want to move them to standard notation. Which direction are we going to move when this is a negative exponent? Left. Mm -hmm. And we're going to move over how many places? One. Just one. Let's go down and do number 19 because it's positive and that's different from this to the one. Right. We're going to move to the right how many places? Five. Mm -hmm. Which means we're going to add five zeros. Everybody just to do some practice now? Yeah. 